How insane does that drum sound? If you don't remember from vlog number one, that's the drum. That's the green matcha drum that I picked up at Bentley's Drum Shop. And it's just so gushy. Kind of a gross word, but it's gushy. Boom. Oh, it's just what that drum was meant to do. And pairing it with that 1950s Gretsch bass drum. Oh my God. Got that drum from Nelson Drum Shop and I definitely want to do a vlog from there, but it's a little far to drive. So I'll have to wait till my next time I'm in Nashville. All right, it's time to get this adventure started. This time we're heading off to Dub's Drum Basement in Dublin, California. It's about a two hour drive from here in Folsom, California. They've got a snare drum waiting for me that I was supposed to pick up a long time ago. I'll tell you more about that in a little bit. And even though this isn't a vintage hunt, the drum I'm picking up is kind of a vintage drum, even though it's brand new. It doesn't matter, they have an amazing shop and we're headed there now, so let's go. All right, so we are on the road. We've got about an hour and 45 minute, two hour drive to Dublin, California from Folsom, uh, heading off to Dub's Drum Basement. And this shop is a place that actually, I think on March 26th or March 27th earlier this year, I was supposed to have a clinic there with Jason McGurr and we were super excited about it. And that's how this whole snare drum thing came up. Uh, Big Bang Distribution said, hey, we want Mike to check out this snare. Uh, it's a vintage snare, but it's brand new. I'll explain more when we get there. They said, we want Mike to check out this snare. Do you mind if we just drop it off for you guys? And then when him and Jason come through town on the tour, then you can give it to him then. And then that never happened. So fast forward a few months and Darren from Dub's Drum Basement reaches out and he says, hey man, we've got this snare here waiting for you. Do you want us to ship it to you? And this was right around the time I had started planning to start doing vlogs, searching for vintage drums. And I was like, no, no, no. I'll come to you. That'll be super cool. It'll be a great vlog because I get to show off your shop, which generally doesn't carry a ton of vintage stuff, even though they do have vintage stuff now and again. But this drum fits perfectly because it's a vintage drum. And I think this Mercedes is doing 170 miles an hour. Um, it's a vintage drum, but it's brand new. So vintage-ish, we'll see when we get there. Two hours for me, about one minute for you guys, but we have made it to Dublin, California, super cute town. We are here at Dub's Drum Basement. Let's go check out some snare drums. Gotta mask up first though. guys we've made it to Dub's drum basement so I'm here and the owner Darren who is a good friend he's gonna walk us through some of the more unique snare drums that he has in stock right now and then we'll take a look at the snare that I'm here to pick up so hey hey Michael 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 oh, my oh gosh. we got to get his cases, oh, his cases. yes my his cases, cases. Is that? <laughs> oh, oh that is uh, awesome. that's Tara by the way we can't forget Tara so probably be... oh that's oh, my the god best. That's just me. <laughs> there we go uh, yeah, snare drum tour. Uh, we've got like a rack of potpourri of snares. I mean, there's everything from, you know, $1,500 to $40. So this is a guy out of Austin, Texas. Uh, he is actually making stave drums out of pe uh, pecan and mesquite. So yeah, I, I've cool never stuff. heard of a drum yeah. being made out of mesquite. Look at it. He's actually branding his snares like a real live Texan. No Yeah, way. look at that. Isn't that great? And that so he's awesome. doing the trick throws and obviously the beautiful stave builds inside. Uh, just really cool stuff. So, you know, a couple six and a half by four. What's going on with the snare wires? Uh, those are the equalizers. Okay. By, uh, by Pure Sound. Helped uh, mitigate the choking. So when you hit directly over the drum, obviously, it's kind of like indirect heat on a barbecue, right? Ooh, I, that's awesome. Yeah. So that's a that's thing. It's pretty cool. So, yeah, he's doing that on all of his drums. Oh my God. Here's, here's one from the past. This is from our buddy Jeff Hendricks. Uh, he used to Ooh. own a company. I know, right? Birdie Purdy. This okay, is, so uh, what's the drum company? 
Uh, it was called Crockett Tubs. You, 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 you mean like you and I, Vice you and I are old enough to remember yes. that, right? So yeah, uh, beautiful maple drum, really, really cool, gold hardware. And look at that, that's a blast from the past. That's an old yeah. uh, plastic nickel works throw. This is one of Jeff's last builds, actually. So this has been in the store, and Jeff went on to uh, work for Sabian. We showed a customer one of these earlier, and I thought literally I was gonna have a hernia. Yeah, Tara can lift this. My 150 pound body cannot handle this stuff. Tara, yeah, can you handle it? Do you want me to grab a side? So these are the, uh, the edge snares from DW, uh, heavy gauge brass, 10 ply maple on the inside. Uh, this bad boy, I think it is right at 20 pounds. Uh, the guy next door, cause he's just a top edge, he's at about 15. Wow. Um, so some really, really cool stuff, but you really have to have a roadie or a uh, workout as much as uh, Tara. Not me, but Tara. Now there is a drum that, I'm, that I kind of put my eye on, actually the one she just pointed to. Oh. Depending on price. Uh -oh. uh well, it's okay. Well, we saw the 911 out in the parking lot. Oh, so what? this is. <laughs> I, rent, I rented that so that you guys would think I was cool. <laughs> so this is actually this is a really cool snare. We just got this one in, but we've had a number of his snares and kits. And this is uh, Mike D'Amico, and Mike used to build for Gene D'Amico at D'Amico Drums uh, when he had his place down in Fremont. And Gene. And uh, Don, I think, is still over there at Gell, but Gene and Don uh, were my go-tos back in the day at Gell Music in Redwood City. Um, so, yeah, so Mike uh, used to build for Gene, and then he started his own company called Brooks. And this is a really cool, gorgeous maple drum. Um, so I maple, to, I have, double tube lugs. Yep, he's got the, the offset tubes, the offset mini tubes, which is really cool. Kind of a satin finish. Uh, 2.3 millimeters, I know he's doing. And then the best throw probably in the business is the uh, the trick. So he's actually doing the three position trick on here too. And those things are rad. Those things are bulletproof. Wow. So yeah, really cool drum. Now I didn't see a price when I picked it up. Is uh, that because we'll, it We'll talk, we'll that. talk, Mike. Okay, okay. <laughs> but yeah, this is a beauty. Really, okay. really sensitive stuff. Yeah. Just, yeah. All right guys, so this uh, Brooks snare really caught my eye. Um, I don't know, there's just something about this drum that's kind of special, and I'm going to give it a whirl on a kit. <laughs> that thing's amazing. Yeah, buddy. Two snares, one fight with the wife, good to go. <laughs> <laughs> now we got a bunch of Yamaha, vintage Yamaha Japanese stuff that's in mint condition, along with a couple of, well, we had, I think, 12 snares at the beginning of last week. We're down to two. Are so you we, serious? Yeah, we've already blown through 10 of them. Wow. Um, they went quick. Yeah, the Yamaha fanboys, they love the uh, the Japanese build stuff. Now, so. i got to say, Gretsch is not going to be happy about hearing this. Uh, but when I first got here, the drum I gravitated to, I was like, check out this custom build <laughs> right here. Right? So do you want to pull that out and just show us who makes that Are custom Are you looking at this build? one? The 13, yeah. This is very custom. Like, and I was like, uh, I think there's I was like only... that is so affordable for... Oh, never mind. Tara, this is one or two that were ever made, I think, oh, by yeah. uh, this yeah. rare... I mean, rare, they've, rare. they just started... Uh, <laughs> Uh, the Tama. So yeah, yeah, yeah. These, the Tama. These, Tama. these kids, Tama. kids out of Japan, they just started. <laughs> that is yeah. the Kia Optima of snare it drums. Just... Like it drives by and you're like, ooh, but... is that a new? It's yeah. a Kia. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this thing's rad. We put this down at a kit, and I'm not a huge for, uh, 13 fan, but this is a 137, and it's got some cojones. So it's, it's a beast. And that's what Love 350 it. bucks. 350. Once again, this stuff fluctuates so much as far as inventory. We, we get stuff in, it goes back out, and we've only got this. So I don't have a dedicated vintage room. I don't have like a backstock area. Where you came in is where you go out, and that's, you know, that's all we have here. So 
we're, it's, yeah, it's, so Tara, my employees, they say it's the constant game of Tetris because one thing goes in, well, we can bring, you know, one thing back out or back in or whatever, so. But you yeah, know, space I mean, is limited, you know, that's what makes this place cool. I don't exactly, know, I so. haven't told anybody yet, but I've done two clinics now here. Yeah. One right there, and, and we had this place just and packed. And we were here on and the then, opening day, my friends. Oh yeah, very first day. that's right. Yeah. But yeah, so we usually get. And then me and um, Carter did a clinic right here. Yeah, so we stick two drummers, and the cool thing is that was the first dual clinic, and I don't know if those have been done too much, but I think you guys have presented the idea because Carter was in town for damn. Yeah. Right? Was yep. It, it wasn't around that yeah, time? Yeah, then he just came, stayed at my house, and I yeah. was like, we can drive to this place called Dubs and do a clinic. <laughs> I was still fairly new at that yeah. point, I think. Well, I'm still fairly I'm only four years into this. Wow. So, yeah, so we wanted to build more of a community and not just a gear shop. So Love that's it. why every clinic we do, like last year, every clinic was sold out. Yeah, well, it's funny because awesome. I had a lot of guys uh, when I first started this business, they were like, well, you don't want to do a clinic because you're going to lose your ass because right. it costs so much money. And I said, well, F you. This is the way I grew up. So we're going to do clinics. And they've been a huge success. So Love it. Yeah. Okay. Well, so speaking cool. of clinics, yeah. I was supposed to be here in March yes, with, with Jason, Jason. McGurr and yeah. I was going to pick up a snare drum. You were. We and had then a reserve for you. You uh, hit me up and said, hey, man, I still have this snare. Yep. Can I ship it to you? And I was like, no, I'm doing vlogs. <laughs> I'm coming to you. I got to get out of the house. Let me save you the <laughs> shipping cost. I'll just drive to you. Yeah. Uh, so what is this snare? So here, Mike, and I haven't seen this in a while. So this is the Rogers Wood Dinosonic Drum. Woo! Yeah, baby. So I know they even sent you like the fanciest of colors. And this was, I think... Uh, uh, like a new release at the time. Triple box, wraps. Oh my goodness. I know, right? So, look at that baby. Woo! Yeah. So yeah, the guys at Big Bang Distribution, uh, so my guy Les Butts, shout out to Les. Les was actually with me before I even opened the store. Uh, Les was good. He was, he was always in the camp of, even this is a pipe dream kid, uh, I'm still gonna support you and let's talk business so cool. um, until you get this thing started. So Yeah, he's one yeah. of the good guys. Yep, yeah. Les is, Les is amazing. My birthday. <laughs> I was like, I called, I said, I don't even call Tara on her birthday. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's true. So Les called. So so you got the, the nice red onyx finish and then they're doing the beaver tail lugs. This one over here, let's show you this. So they come in two lug styles, obviously. We got the beaver tails, and then this one's the old bread and butter. So okay. this is exact same drum, different lugs, different finish. Got Other it. than that, everything's exactly the same. And what makes the Dynasonic kind of stand out? So here, let's turn it over. I think we all know what Shan't makes we? the wood Dynasonic stand out. No, I really didn't know. I was actually, <laughs> why do people make such a big deal out of this yeah. stupid drum? So yeah, the, uh, the Dyna's uh, claim to fame is obviously their, their rail design. So the rail design was originally intended to fine tune the wires. So you can actually adjust via this screw here, this tension screw, you can actually adjust the wire tension without putting pressure on the bottom head that wow. the traditional throw would do. So if you dial in your throw position, then you can fine tune the tension with that rod with the snare rail. So cool. Just some really, really cool stuff. Like I said, beaver tail lugs, the old clock face throw. So there's trying to do some, some stuff, you know, that was uh, original with the drum back in the day, but making a little bit beefier, a little bit more reliable. Awesome. There you go. Very cool. Thank you for all your help. You're very welcome. Yay. Thanks, Darren. I appreciate okay, it, buddy. Bye. All right. See you guys. Bye. All right, so I've made it back safe and sound. I've got the Brooks 14x4 Maple Snare. I've got the Rogers Dynasonic, which I can't wait to check out. But massive thanks to Darren at Dub's Drum Basement. Massive thanks to Tara for all of her help. And I hope you guys had a blast. Was this one too long? This one was pretty long. You got to admit, we might have stretched it a bit. So if this was too long, don't feel bad. You can let me know in the comments. Bye, guys.